morning and welcome to Compline on Tuesday, the 7th of December. And on this day, the church remembers Ambrose, who was Bishop of Milan, teacher of the faith in the year 397. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We take a moment to reflect on the day and ask God to bring to mind those things that have displeased him, that we could have done better. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. For God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Psalm 143, a few verses. O Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The verse from Mark chapter 13. Keep awake. For you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord. I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. The Nunc Dimittis. Come, O Lord and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. We give thanks to God for something that has given us joy this day, or something new that we have learnt. And we pray for two people who need God's help. God of hosts who called Ambrose from the governor's throne to be a bishop in your church and an intrepid champion of your faithful people mercifully grant that as he did not fear to rebuke rulers, so we, with like courage, 
they contend for the faith we have received. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again, O God of hosts. Show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us this night and always. Amen. Sleep well, everyone. Night, night. <laughs>